Return on owner's investment or ROI is a really useful ratio. So we calculate it by taking our net profit and dividing it by average capital. And average capital, like when we did ROI and needed average assets, is simply the uh, capital at the beginning, the capital at the end of the period, and just averaging those two numbers. So in this case, we'd be taking a net profit of 6,300, dividing it by average owner's equity of 70,000, and that equals an ROI or return on owner's investment of 9%. So what does that mean? Well, it means that for every dollar of equity the owner puts into the business, that is earning a net profit of nine cents. So if we were to write that up, this means that for every one dollar of capital invested by the owner, the business owns a net profit of nine cents. ROI is a really important ratio, um, probably the most important ratio when you're making investment decisions. And the reason is you don't have to put your own money into a small business. Uh, you might like to invest in something else. So you might like to put it in the bank, shares, property, or gold, for example. And ROI can be calculated for any of these investments. So that's why it's good to be able to calculate it for your business. That way you can compare it to the uh, ROI being offered by the bank with a term deposit, for example. So the reason why we want to calculate ROI um, is looking at the trend. It's all about equity. We put money into a business and it becomes owner's equity or capital. So if it was 9% uh, last year, that meant that for every dollar of equity we put in, we earned a net profit of 9 cents. Now if that went down to 5%, that means we're less profitable. For every dollar of equity that's in the business now, we only earned a net profit of 5 cents. So we'd say we're less profitable because we're earning less net profit for every dollar of capital that we've invested. If that ratio went up to 15%, that's actually a good trend. It means for every dollar of capital that's in the business this year, we earned a net profit of 15%. And that means we're more profitable because we're earning more net profit for each dollar of capital. And the good thing about ROI is we can now go and compare that figure to uh, any other investment, so the share market or property or gold or oil, anything. We can go and compare our 15% or our 9 or our 5% to what those markets are returning, and that way we can decide which ones we'd like to invest in. Looking at how to improve it, we can either increase net profit, so if last year it was 15,000 with capital of 100, that equals an ROI of 15%. So we can make that go up by using our capital better. We use the same amount of capital, but we generate more net profit of 20,000. That'll flow through to an ROI of 20%. The other way we can improve ROI is if it was 15% last year, maybe we can't earn a high net profit. So we can just take out capital. Maybe there's some capital in the business that isn't actually productive. So it could be some old inventory that we can't sell. We could take it out as drawings, for example or an old car that doesn't really go anymore, but uh, the owner can take it out and get it off the balance sheet. Uh, that way we can actually, and well, that, that becomes drawings, which will decrease our capital. That will mean if our net profit stays the same and average capital goes down to 80,000, our owner's equity uh, of 80,000 will return an ROI of 18.7%.